Just say, Jordan. <laughs> no, you're all good, man. You're all good. That's what I do best, Jordan. I always derail you. And we love you for it. <laughs> you have two at one point, uh, but we've got one now. Which is still good. Ah. Uh, hope you haven't fallen asleep when I was watching. Don't know what time it is for you. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, all. Or- Oldest, oldest games or systems would have to be the NES and the SNES. Okay. For me, and the oldest game, the original Mario on the NES. The original Mario. Wow, okay, yeah. That's like the, Mario? the pinnacle, the pinnacle of Mario platforming. Brothers? Yeah. <laughs> still, uh, still okay to this day. People still, like, modern and stuff, don't they? Yeah, yeah. I still play like the like classic. From my memory, it was uh, rather difficult. Probably go. Oh no! Hang on. What? It was would have been the Game Boy Color, I think. Wasn't uh, Game Boy Color? It wasn't the the PS One. Well, yeah. I don't. I don't know what one came out first. Was it Game Boy Color or PS One? I'm, I'm genuinely curious now. Yeah, yeah, I... I I'm definitely... surprised I've never played the PS1 when I grew up. Oh, really? Ah, oh, I'm surprised, like, my brother never picked up one. I'm, I'm genuinely shocked. Hmm. Uh, Ooh. released... Okay. Japan... 1998. Yeah, so PS1 was... I don't know when it was. 94. PS1 did it? All right, PS1. Yeah, that's still a, still an old console. One of your favorite games came from that, co- that like that generation of consoles, didn't it? Yep. And like you said, it, it most likely is the root of why I love hundred percent of games. Um, it was Yoshi's Island? Yeah, I, I, I think that's right. Almost hundred percent of the game. I think you hit the nail on the head, man. Yeah, Yoshi's Island was the first game I ever properly sat down and tried to 100% everything, and I was very close. How old were you when you tried to, like, get everything in the game? Uh, Let's see, at least... I think, like, maybe at least six or seven years old? Wow, that young. Serious. Yeah, I I remember... uh... I'm impressed. Wow. I remember, yeah, yeah. I remember somewhere around that age. Yeah, I remember somewhere around that age. I, I was good enough to actually have my cousins even ask me for help how to finish certain levels. Were they older or, or younger? Oh, uh, older. Really? That's like teens. That's, really? Oh, what about yourself, man? Your favorite retro console? Oh no. PS2 definitely. Or a couple. Um, yeah, it's still the most sold console like ever, right? Is it really? Um, I mean, I, I wouldn't be surprised by hearing that, but like, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, definitely, definitely PS2. PS2 had some classics. I also want to say, I mean, I know I don't see it as retro, but people nowadays do ps3 oh that's what it i mean technically is retro isn't it yeah but it's like i don't i don't know if it's because i grew up i don't know I just, it doesn't it doesn't seem retro you know what i mean because it's like hdmi and everything what the fuck <laughs> <laughs> hey i'm still playing with it yeah yeah well we both have been this week <laughs> yeah yeah um, hard to believe eh? the great It's still a good console. Um, oh, 100%. Uh, and I think my last one in terms of favorites would be the Game Boy Advance. Oh, oh, oh sorry. Let me let me refine that. Game Boy Advance SP because it was like backlit and stuff. So Okay, so so that being said, do you have a and I th- I think I know the answer to I might, I don't know. Do you have a favorite retro console? Personally, I like the Super Nintendo more. Yep. Oh wait, retro retro is in like 
how old we're talking because I do like the PS2 as well because that's it uh, could be whatever man it's entirely up to you oh it have to be between the Super Nintendo and the PS2 just because Super Nintendo I have a lot of fun memories just some of the games like uh, Mario Kart on the Super Nintendo um, yep Yoshi's Island obviously okay um, a couple of the Mario games as well right one where you can like yeah, was it Paper Mario or it was one of the Mario games on the Nintendo? Hmm. But then the PS2 was also like, yo, it was like, I also had a lot of fun memories playing games with my brother on that as well. <laughs> uh, older brothers, am I right? Yeah, yeah. All right. Oh. <laughs> Going on from favorite, what is your least? Do you have a least favorite retro console? Just out of curiosity. Uh, not really. I've never had a console where I was like, oh god, hated it. Yes, yeah. the SP. I've played a bit of the Nintendo 64, oh, but not enough to really. Lucky. <laughs> yeah, because I was in uh, school care, uh, and they had like. Did they have two of them, or they must have had, I think, a Nintendo 64 and a PS1, I think. Oh, nice. Wow. Yeah, they had like a, a table with the console set up and a little TV. That's awesome. No, it was either PS1 or PS2. It was one of, one of the two. One of the two. Yeah. I know they had a Nintendo 64, though. That's sick. And the only time I've ever played a GameCube was <laughs> at Alex's place. Oh, serious? Um, yeah, I guess I guess I'm the same as you. Like in terms of least favorite retro consoles, I've never had that many. Like I want to expand my retro collection in terms of consoles, but like I've never owned that. Like you said, like a console I've actually hated. <laughs> oh no, that's all good. I guess that would bring us into like a the next topic of like what's a retro system or a retro game that you've always wanted to play or own. <laughs> always wanted to play yeah. I've always wanted to play I guess well I say I want to play it but I could still some of the oops, some of the classic PS1 games that I've missed out on like this the Sly Cooper series some of the older Final Fantasies okay Metal Gear Solid 1 again I could I could Ooh. play most of those though but um just not sure if I have the time, if I really want to. That'd be awesome. That'd be so cool, man. Um. Oh, what else was there? Nintendo 64. I would love to play some of the games on there. Hundred percent. That'd be fantastic. Out. Hey, weren't you looking for one as well? I'm. I'm still looking to buy uh, an N64. Yeah. Just got to find that right one. You know what I mean? Uh. <laughs> no, I I would agree 100. percent I think um, N64 is probably one of the most prominent consoles, retro consoles that I want to play, um, and like own. Like that, I think that'd be a cool part part of gaming history to have in my collection, on like Steam and stuff, like about about uh, Vegas 2. Yeah. So many people, like I found so many comments saying it's be like they like it better than like Rainbow Six Siege and stuff like that. <laughs> Yeah, Rainbow Six Vegas 2, like, did the co-op thing so well. Yeah, yeah. I definitely see that. Like, I I want to go play more of it like, right, right now. Like, I'm... Yeah. <laughs> Alright, guys. We'll see you later. I mean, we could, man. We've covered everything in this... Well, yeah. Yeah, back then, that would have been... You would have been like, whoa, this is, like, cool. And now you look back and you're like, oh. Yeah. The red eyes in their helmets uh, frightened me a little bit as a kid. But, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Is that the one thing that frightened you? Yeah. I guess as, as a kid, I was going to say, as a kid, did you have anything that frightened you about games? Was there was that one little thing? Mm. Was it the red eyes? It's probably the red eyes for the Hel he uh, Hellgast. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm just trying to think of any other games. For me, it was the sound when the guard spotted you in Metal Gear Solid 2. Oh yeah, really? 
scared the shit out of me. I refused to play it back when I was like five, six years old because wow. 